Hey everybody, welcome back to Maya Mondays. So today I'm going to be talking to you about something that's not really specific to Maya. It's more a Windows, um, a, more of a Windows issue, but it's something that I wanted to share with you. So I recently got a large monitor, and with this large monitor, it runs at 4K. Sometimes I'm resizing my windows down to 1920 by 1080, or I'm trying to maybe even resize the monitor resolution down. And when I'm doing that, I was losing windows a lot of times. And I've also experienced this when I've worked with my laptop and then plugged the laptop into a high res monitor, kind of move some windows around working on that high res monitor. And I, you know, disconnect from the high res monitor, open up Maya and my windows are lost. So I want to share with you a couple of little utilities that I found very useful when working um, in managing windows, uh, floating windows or application windows um, in windows seven. And they're really, uh, they're really straightforward. So the first one that I want to show you is this little one called Sizer. And I'll include the links in the YouTube descriptions to these guys. So what Sizer does is it allows you to just right click on a window and specify a given resolution for that, for that floating window. So a lot of times when I'm recording demos, I want to make sure that I'm looking at a window that's 1920 by 1080 or something like that. So that Sizer helps me do that. Another thing that Sizer does, it's kind of cool. And I have it set up to run as just a, as um. I have it in my startup folder, so it always runs when I start Maya up. It also allows you to position these windows if you wanted to. You could have it also move and and um, reposition the windows, maybe to the top left or top right or something like that. So I do use this sizer um, a good bit because normally when I'm recording videos for YouTube, I want to make sure I'm recording you know 1080. So even if I'm working at high resolution, I might just scale the app down and then do a screen recording of that app that's scaled down. So another one that I want to share with you, um, which is one that I use all the time now, is this Snap Windows executable. And what this one does is it basically just goes through and it finds windows that are off screen and it, it'll snap them to, to you know onto screen. So if we had something that was kind of floating off here, and my render window is also, you know, actually you don't even see it. It's, you know, I click the click the render window and it doesn't come up because it's it's floating off screen. So if you just run this snap windows, and sometimes you need to run it more than once for it to kind of get everything on screen, it goes through and it finds windows that aren't on your primary display and it just sort of brings them onto it. So in that situation where you might have a laptop that you've plugged into a big desktop monitor and then you unplug the laptop and the resolution's dropped back down, you can't find your windows. This just brings those guys back. Whether they're Maya Windows or not Maya Windows, it doesn't really matter because it's just an executable that works at the application level. So those are a couple of little things. Um, hopefully you find those useful if you're working with, like I said, high resolution monitors or multiple monitors or a laptop that's in plugged into a monitor. Both of these little guys can, can help you work a bit more efficiently. Another thing that's actually um, worth mentioning is there are some really nice hotkeys inside of Windows for sort of managing windows and docking windows. So if you're trying to do maybe a split view of maybe two web pages or something like that, if you use your Windows key and the arrow keys, you can push the windows around. So it's the same thing as sort of doing the drag and drop and having it hit a corner in, in, in docking or going up and getting to a full screen to dock. If you use the Windows key and the left button or the left arrow key and the right arrow key, you can kind of walk your way through these guys. So if you wanted to dock one window to the left side of the monitor and another window to the right side monitor, the windows and the arrow keys do that. And then obviously if you hit the up arrow key, it goes full screen. If you hit the Windows key while you're holding that Windows key down and hit the down arrow key, it unmaximizes it. So just a couple little um, sort of clutching operations with that window key and the arrow keys allow you to push windows around very efficiently inside of Maya. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Thanks again for taking the time to watch Maya Mondays. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button. I truly appreciate you guys checking out uh, Maya Mondays. Cheers, everyone.